Today I'm here to talk about why single malt whiskies are good in cocktails and why we should be doing more of it uh, for this on World Cocktail Day. So let's get started. I think it comes from a good place. I think people kind of what it, the craft and the tradition and the heritage that goes into single malt and therefore they see it as something that should be enjoyed pure. But in reality, that craft and that heritage and also the flavour spectrum of whiskey makes it the perfect thing to make cocktails with. The second thing is I think people just tell you that you're not allowed to um, all the time when in reality it is an incredible spirit to make cocktails with. I think it is important to honour the craft while you're making these cocktails, but you can do that by picking up flavour points, by telling the stories of the distillery through the medium of cocktails. First of all, it depends on the style of the single malt. We have the widest spectrum of flavours of any spirit or whisky. Uh, in, in, in the world. You have everything from big and smoky from the west coast to light and fruity in the east coast to big and tropical up north and we get the idea. The wide spectrum of flavour means that this can fit in any style of cocktail. Be it a classic scotch cocktail, a classic whiskey cocktail uh, or any classic cocktail at all, you can usually find a single malt whiskey that fits perfectly in there. Now, the best place to start from when you're thinking about using a cocktail is with the liquid neat. It is to taste it, it is to experience it, and it is to kind of honour that craft and tradition and heritage that has gone into it and pick flavours that pair perfectly with the single malt itself. All the time. If we push the boat out a little bit from the styles of drink that we associate with single malt whiskey, i.e. the Rob Roy, uh, the Bobby Burns, the old fashioned, all these kind of dark, kind of rich, real whiskey forward cocktails, we can pull Scotch whiskey and single malt into a, a, a number of different environments. Drinks like the Highball have done this extremely well, making it light, making it fizzy, making it fresh and opening up Scotch whiskey to a whole audience. But still, the key thing with all of these drinks is that they honour the, the liquid and that you start with that single malt whiskey and that you're pairing interesting flavours that set it off. It really much depends on the single malt, obviously, as we said earlier on. Um, a few cracking examples that I love are Talisker um, with sea buckthorn, which I'm going to do a drink in a little bit. And also peach works really well with Talisker. If you're talking about the singleton, um, Pandan is really cool. Um, also, I use a lot of apple sodas and kind of orchard fruit notes. Again, these are all present in the whiskies themselves, so it isn't a massive leap when you're adding them into a cocktail. Okay, so today we're going to make a single malt cocktail featuring a whiskey that is described as being made by the sea. That is Talisker from the Isle of Skye. We're going to make a carbossed colada today. Now, this might sound extreme to make a single malt whiskey spin on a colada, but it isn't a massive stretch. Sky is filled with these incredible white sand beaches and aquamarine water. And you can actually see yourself enjoying a perfect colada in this environment, but I would recommend bringing a jacket. Talisker has big sweet smoke notes. It has that incredible salt and pepper note, which means it can hold up to extremely strong flavors like coconut, and sea buckthorn. Now sea buckthorn, not the usual ingredient that you use in a clada, but it's that incredible nod to that west coast Scottish um, fruit. In there you have Talisker 10, 40 ml of, you have sea buckthorn juice, 10 ml, sugar syrup, 10 ml, and also um, coconut puree, or I use Coco Lopez, um, and just the same amount as Talisker. To make it a little bit easier, um, I pre-mixed that the buckthorn, the coconut, coconut and the sugar together just because it makes it pour nice and easy into your glass. Give it a good shake. Now this drink is going to be sweet, it's going to be quite luxurious, kind of perfect dessert cocktail um, and we're just, it is extremely, extremely rich so we're going to add a topping on that that will just reduce that sweetness down. But the incredible thing about it 
is in a great reason to use single malt, is right at the very end of the drink, on the finish of the palate, you're going to get that burst of sweet smoke, you're going to get that salt and pepper salinity, almost a touch of peachness, which I always associate with Talisker, and you can really tell that it's still a Talisker drink, even next to all those big notes of buckthorn and coconut. On top there, seaweed sherbet, I'll put the recipe down below. Enjoy, that's the Carbos Kalada or the Talisker Kalada. Cheers. This drink I've just made is, is really easy, but a couple of tips. Um, when you're making the seaweed soda, you want to be using um, dried, dulse seaweed, blitz it up in a spice grinder, and then you're adding some kind of acid powder like citric or malic or tartaric. Um, uh, in equal quantities and um, with also a little bit of sugar as well which will just kind of give that sweet and sour on top of the drink but also you've got that seaweed note that's coming through um, from the talisker and whiskey itself. Also you'll probably see I had a jug there um, and what I did was I mixed um, 40 ml or, uh, of the coconut lopez, 10 ml uh, of sea buckthorn and 10 ml sugar syrup and I multiplied it by 10 so it's basically the can of the coconut puree 100 ml of sugar, 100 ml of buckthorn, give it a stir up, that can be bottled and it just makes it easier to pour because it's not an easy drink to make on camera. Um, but it, apart from that, it's a really easy, really delicious and really simple to bang out drink. The flavours of this drink are designed to be like a Caribbean beach on sky. It's a, a, it's, a, it's a banger of a drink. But the most important thing is that the Talisker is still the hero. And we're still able to tell that story of this distillery on the remote outcrop on sky, facing onto a sea loch. whiskey has been made by the sea. So the triggers of the buckthorn, the seaweed, um, are playing off against the fact that we've used something a little bit out there with the coconut. Again, we can talk about American oak maturation, which can often give you a coconut, you know. Everything is present in there. So uh, it's an absolutely delicious drink. Uh, beach holidays. But if you're doing it in Scotland, bring, bring a jacket and a jumper. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this and um, have a great World Cocktail Day and uh, let me know if you have had any luck, success uh, making this drink on Instagram at scotch.boy. See you all soon.